Jake Paul versus Nate Diaz has just been confirmed. Welcome to Off Script. I'm Morgan. I'm Bia. And today we're going to be breaking down this huge fight. So yes, you heard me right. Jake Paul, he's fighting Nate Diaz. <laughs> Nate Diaz, a UFC legend nonetheless. But you know, I've, I've got a sneaky suspicion that this oldie might put Jake on skate. I don't know whether I agree with that personally. I think mm. they know what they're doing here. They don't want the smoke from Tommy Fury. They clearly don't want KSI smoke. So they're going with the old man, and I think he's going to get sparked out. Now, now, to throw a spanner in the work, I think Nate Diaz is going to be the most durable opponent Jake has ever faced. Mm -hmm. He's fought the likes of Conor McGregor, Jorge Masvidal, and none of them have been able to knock him out. Now, I agree with that, but there's a difference between MMA and boxing, and we clearly have seen that. They get flat lines because it's one principle, it's hands only. And that's where the knockout's gonna come. I think it's gonna be a big overhand right. I agree Jake Paul does need a win. I mean, he got manhandled by the boxer Handled. and he's been running back to the MMA boys. It's an MMA boy that you can't sleep on. Nate Diaz, he's been in there with the best and he's got a chin of granite. The only thing that concerns me with Nate Diaz is his scar tissue. Now, I need to ask you, Morgan, how does this man approach the ring? And I want your actual fight predictions, how this pans out. And I'm going to give you mine. Nate Diaz, unfortunately, is going to get pieced up a bit. I think Jake Paul is going to actually look like a really good boxer compared to Nate. However, we know with Nate, he stays in there through thick and thin. Jake Paul is going to gas and we know Nate Diaz's cardio is unbelievable. Nate is going to start landing those big punches. I'm seeing the reminiscences of him against Leon Edwards. Okay. Leon Edwards was piecing him up, that whole fight dominating him. And then the fifth round, what happened? Boom! He points at his opponent. He's gonna toy with Jake once he has him hurt. So I think Nate Diaz knockout late, maybe round eight. Now this is where I have to disagree with you. Number one, he can't point because he's in boxing gloves. Okay, this is a really <laughs> good point. Me personally, I think this is a very tactical move from Jake Paul's team. So we know Jake Paul has a good jab now. Mm. Now the overhand right is a bomb and I think everyone knows it's coming at some point. Mm. But I think it's gonna work effectively against Nate Diaz, someone that doesn't know the principle of keeping his hands up and avoiding those punches. Mm. You know, I think Jake Paul is good at pressure fighting. Only way Nate Diaz wins this fight is with a big shot, mm. a big bomb, which I do not believe Jake Paul is gonna get knocked out. Yes, Tommy Fury may not be the hardest puncher, but Jake Paul took those hits really well. You can tell he's gone through some tough sparring. If Jake Paul makes those last rounds, he wins that fight. If Jake Paul lands a big right hand, he wins that fight. So, why is Jake Paul taking this fight? Now, he has signed recently to the PFL, and he's, there's rumours he's making his MMA debut soon. There's rumours, I've seen him do those dodgy leg kicks, mm. and I think this is why the Nate Diaz fight has been made. My advice to you, my friend. Do not do MMA. Do not do MMA. Stay no. away. <laughs> knock, knock Nate Diaz out as Just cold as you can. Guy. Just fight him. Stop with all this nonsense. Stop running. Stop with all this nonsense and fight KSI. Mm. This is, now, we have got a special announcement. Now, we're not going to reveal yeah, all yeah. yet. And it's a give them Just a, a little, little preview to what we're going to be attending. A little sprinkle. Make sure you're liking, Make you're sure. subscribing, you're following us on all platforms. Mm, you're going to see some real exclusive content. And if you're not here from the start, you're going to be missing out on a lot is all I'm saying.